Hey y'all, what up, what up? So this video was actually supposed to be out on the last day of December and it's Jehovah behind me, say hi. That didn't go to plan and I've low-key procrastinated a little bit this past week, was a lot going on, there was a lot. There's gonna be this light, like random glare in the back of the window, I didn't peep it. At first it was clear and then it just randomly got like foggy, so you know. <laughs> Seattle living, absolutely hate my city. Love you guys so much, just get past that. I do end up realizing it like at the end of the video, but like at that point it was too late, so. Yeah, deuces. A lot of y'all on YouTube don't know the real story, so I'm about to get back to y'all right now. So what really happened was, the way the events went down this night, like, no one knows about this but me and those people who are there. She was like, I saw the lives, I saw the videos, and you really hate me. And I was just like, okay, um, I'm not, I'm not doing this with you right now. And I sit down and break the chair. Girl, I was big, but I wasn't that big. I ain't never broke a chair a day in my life. Okay, let's just, y'all know how these car videos get. Already right, getting a little dark. I'm gonna lean to the front a little bit so the light shows. <laughs> I'm really excited for today. This is another driving video. Hey, 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 hey. What's up? We have honestly just had an amazing December. This is probably our last video of December, so we did not reach our 10 video goal. Remember when I told y'all, I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not gonna be cussing this video. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, girl, video got demonetized at the gate. So, what's up? Okay, my motherfucking baby mom. Ah, what up, what up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. You've never been here before. If you are a returning subscriber, I've missed your beautiful face so much, bro. You guys are just so beautiful and so pretty. So, so y'all, I've just been getting to the bag. You know, making this money, making this coin like the real ass. I am and I just realized that when I was editing at the library you know putting that extra work for y'all to get that video out on time I left my MacBook charger there so we need to go to the store and get a new one so that's gonna be part of my drive with me usually with my drive with keys videos I just turn it into a story time so I really never know how to be like is it a story time or is it a driving with keys but most of the time it's being an excuse of making a story time video with a different background so y'all don't get too bored with my content so and so yeah let's just turn the F up let's go what have y'all been doing? Yo, okay, so we don't want to wait. No, I need to just pause. I need to pause. I wanted to like think of stuff to talk to y'all about. I can't just be jumping it. You see, it does that. Like, why? I need to know what I'm gonna talk to you guys about. So, one second. Okay, so I have my topics. I only have like three of them. So, as the day just goes on, we'll just add more. I want to just chill. I'm gonna go freaking car. Hi. I wish she was looking at me like she was disgusted or something like hello <laughs> so first we need to go to walmart after walmart we need to go visit some old friends oh <laughs> and we need to get some gas because shabriana is running on a teardrop of gasoline right now i can't see right now <coughs> oh shoot imagine i just get in a car crash that was bad. here's some of the topics i want to talk to y'all about because we just gotta get into some things because what has my life actually been recently I have been grinding on the YouTube, y'all trying to give y'all that consistent content. I feel like it's just not really me to be consistent on YouTube, but y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm a liar. A lot of times I'll tell you guys, oh, I'm going to post on YouTube. It's going to be tomorrow, and that video don't be out till next month. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to do a little better. Uh-oh. Can I go? Oh, shit. Answer was no. I cannot. <laughs> what is up with that fake laugh thing I've been doing? Like... Is it like the coat? Like, is it is the coat too dark? This is why I need tent. Like, that's one thing I do not like about recording and driving with keys videos. I just, it just, it's always so much mechanical error. And honestly, y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Like, for real. Okay, I think this is good. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the Marquis situation and the story time that I posted about that boy that I caught cheating on me. Really, he wasn't cheating on me because we wasn't dating, but we was technically like locked in until that X came in the picture. Now y'all, mind you, you know what gagged me so bad, so, and the video y'all saw, okay, so I don't know what was going on with that project file, that video, but it gave me so many problems. Last half of the video didn't even render, so then I had to like, basically plug in all the old footage back into the project file, and it was just a lot, it was a lot. I ended up getting to the point where I just deleted a good like 25 minute clip. That's why if you saw the video and I was like, oh, my camera stopped recording, no, that's not what really happened. I just didn't feel like putting that part of the video in there because I didn't feel like having to edit that 25 minute clip on top of a project file that was already giving me problems. A lot of y'all on YouTube don't know the real story, so I'm about to get back to y'all right now. So what really happened was, so y'all know I told y'all about how he, um, 
unblocked me. What they, what they, whoop. I thought we was about to be back locked in. Honestly, I don't even want a relationship out of him. I don't want to be friends with him because he's clearly a horrible person. I, me, I don't deserve that. Regardless of which, I DM him. I DM'd him, right? I waited like three days. At first, I followed him. He didn't follow me back. I unfollowed him. Then I followed him again. And I DM him like maybe a day after that, right? So at this point, three days then passed. And I tell him, are you still mad at me? No response. No, he even read it. So I was like, okay, you can, you can be mad. It's cool. Your birthday coming up. I'm gonna pop up at that house. Like, what's up? Come on, Toyota. F like, the light about to be yellow. Oh, he trying to get into that turning lane. Trying to get on that freeway. <laughs> Right, so basically I go a few days without a response. I go back to look on his Instagram. I see it's not there I'm like wait, excuse me. Did he block me again? So my job I had a full full account. So when you block people and it says block all the accounts They may create it'll block all the accounts that you created in the past too. So I had Ricky make an account It was like basically our full full account. I went on that account. It wasn't there either So I'm like, oh, he must have deactivated. He's so mysterious like yeah. why do I send it to my friend Amir? I'm like wait, do you see his account? So, wait, he unblocked you? I'm like, yeah! Amir's like wait, the account's still there do you, what do you mean the account's still there? So I was like, wait, let me go to another account. When I got my new phone, I ended up making a new spam account on this phone because this phone has a different IP address, right? And so I was like, wait, let me go see if that account's still showing up on there. And it was. So I guess after you log into an account and your phone number is associated with that account, if someone blocks you again, even if your phone didn't create that account, you're still being blocked. Someone gave me like weird vibes about it though, because why would you? unblock me just to block me again it's that x like i know it's that x because why do i start looking at his followers he only have a few hundred followers i start looking through the following all the gay people gone oh yeah it was that x it was that x he ain't cut off all his hoes now maybe me but you ain't cut all of my hoes off i forgot whose phone i was on no, i was facetiming nita right nita's going through his following and i see his oh I see his ex in that follow wing. So I'm like, oh, you follow your ex again? First off, y'all stink. You got STDs. Like, y'all ex already told me all y'all teens out. Like, who really went in Oh, my God. And, y'all, I literally did not, like, everything I just told you literally made no sense because I didn't even tell you what happened on the part of the video that I recorded. That didn't even, that happened recently. Like, this happened a few days ago. Let me tell you about the part that I didn't put in the video. I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, I ended up making the story time on TikTok, right? And I ended up deleting it because, I'm gonna explain why in a second. So, he called me. And I remember I was at my friend Robin's house and I gagged. I was like, why is this man calling me? He blocked my phone number again after he called me. I didn't answer the first time. So, I'm like, I texted him on my text now number like, why do you keep calling me and not answering? So, then he called that text now number and I was like, no, call my phone number. Like, unblock me call me on my phone number he was like my fault i didn't try to hurt your feelings when i said i didn't even know you i was just saying that like you're honestly real cool we could have been friends but you had to go and tell my business on the internet our business on the internet let's not forget i was in the story too yes i told y'all about the ex yes i told y'all that he was getting you know mike tyson every night but uh, it was context to the story the bigger picture that's what he's forgetting it's it looks like it's sunset it's literally 11 52 why is it like oh damn but i like y'all look good was it? i know he wasn't just talking about like what his ex told him or whatever him and his ex was going through he was talking about the whole situation as a whole and no i'm gonna tell what happened to me because you're a dickhead and you know you feel bad now mind you i didn't think he was gonna see it like I guess I haven't really accepted like the power I hold as an influencer or the influence I hold as an influencer, I guess. But I didn't think he was gonna see it. If I've never been on your for you page and I've made story times on pop on top of story time on top of videos, why the one time I make a video and you're regarding it, it, it puts it on your friend's for you page. That don't make no sense. And how did his friend know that I was talking about him? You know what I mean, what's going on over there? How you know his business too? Obviously his friends saw the post on their for you page saying to him, but how do you know I'm talking about Marquise? How do you know I was talking about your Marquise? My theory is they already knew me. <sighs> I probably told the group chat like yeah I just got done talking to this influencer he was crazy da, 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 da. he was fell in love with me first off I didn't fall in love with you I bought a dream that you sold to me and when I went to cash out on that shit you said no and then his friend was like bruh like is this not the boy you was just talking about send to him in the group chat the group chat was probably laughing but um I don't really care because you ran them digits up so thank you and he's telling me me and my ex aren't even dating we were literally just kicking it you're not just kicking it because I didn't say this in the video either because you know honestly I was embarrassed I was embarrassed but you know what we're i feel like we're growing we're growing real close together i feel like i'm starting to get a real relationship with my youtube family so i must just go ahead and tell y'all what happened so that night when i found out everything happened i couldn't accept it like i don't know i was on the phone with my friends i was trying to smoke that kush you know trying to forget about it you know suppress my demons but it just didn't work and i did not want to go home and have to deal with my family like i was just in a bad mood so i took it upon myself to run through the ex's house Yep, I did. I went past X's house and his car was right there. Mind you, you work at 6 a.m. What are you doing at 12.52 at night? What are you doing at 12.52 at your X's? You're not kicking it. You're f***ing 
I'm talking to this new boy right now, y'all. He's honestly like a good person. Like he's a good person, but I don't know. Like I have trust issues. Uh, like he's sick right now, so he doesn't text me back as fast as he usually would. And I'm not gonna lie, it triggers me. But we've had that conversation and we've talked about like some pretty personal stuff, but I know not to get attached. Like y'all, I actually am gonna see him because I'm going to Atlanta on my 21st birthday. So I'm gonna see him and yeah, I'm gonna put the pussy on him. I'm gonna make him fall in love with me. So by the time I leave, I should have a, you know, boyfriend. <laughs> Our man. <sighs> well, that was hella quick. Person that I wanted to go see for real for real wasn't even there. So I couldn't even holler at my girl. They said that she clocks into her shape at two. So we got a good two hours to rip around the street. <laughs> get close with each other just gonna fill this boy out i'm not even gonna put too much emphasis on like us even talking because me personally a talking stage is when you uh, this, okay here's my thinking how could you really have a talking stage with somebody how could you say that you're talking to someone that you like them and you want to get to know them if you're talking to other people is that just me or am i just a simp ass I don't know. It's just like, that's why I don't even consider it like us talking. We're just getting to know each other for real because I know he got niggas in that phone. Yeah, you know I got niggas in mine. So, y'all, so tell me why. One of the other topics I want to talk to y'all about was my mom told her co-workers about my social media because she's just so proud of it now. And I guess, y'all know, I've made story times in the past like, about me being a child or like how we get like whoopings for doing stupid shit. Like, I changed my grade book or I haven't made a story time about it because I never wanted my parents. Why? You're not in the turning lane. Like, what are you doing doing? I know people are like, what are you doing? You're not in the right lane. I'm doing How about I watch the road in front of me while I'm over here talking? But anyway, my mom told her co-workers about my story times. And I had to delete one of them. I probably did my story time about I told the counselor on my parents because I got in so much trouble for changing my grade. Literally, y'all, when I told that story time, was it or was it not a funny story time? I never was like, I hate my fucking parents! My mom blew mine and her co-workers i guess saw whatever story time i had made about them or whatever like i guess i was on live or talking about them or something and then told my mom as if i just be on the internet saying how much i hate my parents so if you are my mom's co-worker and you're watching this video right now go ahead and click off you're not wanted here <laughs> how about you go ahead and find a different youtuber to like because i'm not the one for you she was like i saw the lives i saw the videos and you really hate me and i was just like okay um i'm not i'm not doing this with you right now and then y'all i have a journal I had a journal. I burned it. Let me tell you why. In my journal, and there's a lot of pages that were ripped out of the journal because I talked about stuff like just stuff that's happened to me from other boys that I did not want happening to me. Boys that I've talked to that didn't work out and it really how it affected my mental health and my relationship with my mom. Like I write that in my journal for me. So my mom read it. And my, I don't ever keep my just journal just out. I usually don't. So if I did, then maybe I did, but I doubt that that's what happened. Because I always keep my journal in my backpack like pocket. So she had to have went out her way to look for the journal and then she read it. The pages that like were OD about like some stuff that my parents don't know about me, y'all don't know about me, my friends don't know about me, I ripped out thankfully. And she goes, Yeah, I read your journal. Because in that journal, I, I did say I hated her. But I corrected myself and I was like, I don't hate my mom. I just hate the things that she does. I don't. It's just like, you know how it is that like, once you get to that age where you're grown and you want to be away from your family, problems just happen. But mind you, I don't even have problems like that OD with my family. It just be with my mom. And I'm not even going to get into that because now I don't even feel like it's a safe space for me to talk about that on the internet because I'm co-worker so yeah that's basically it like my mom's co-workers then ran to her like they my ops or something like first i was i supposed to get a whooping i don't understand me personally why she tells her co-workers about me because what is okay first off you did not need to be driving that fast in the middle lane i should have just went in the middle lane and gagged them yeah oh i have a story time i wanted to tell y'all y'all remember when i told y'all that i got left at a maybe i should no low key i should probably just make this a story time video for like an actual video like a whole video because the way the events went down this night like no one knows about this but me and those people who are there and i've low-key kind of built like a resentment for them not even a resentment but i know to like they don't really care about me because they did they would have cared about me then when i was a nobody contrary to popular belief showing that you care about someone goes further than you know liking a TikTok. you know actually caring about somebody means that you don't care for their safety you make sure they get home safely you make sure they don't almost get jumped by white people you know you don't leave them at parties in the middle of hollywood hills when you know that they don't have a ride back home and they were supposed to go with you so is it just me or walmart always be mad far like walmart don't never be like near your house always like a hike and a half away we need a walmart down the street where the 7-eleven is y'all i don't know if it's just me like i know i've gotten a glove like i know i'm a little cute now like i know i need this house but i have been getting a lot of the you know trade in my dm 
dudes, I be getting a lot of the boys walking up to me like, hey, what's up with you? And I be like, I'm oh, back up. Like, I don't want to deal with you. So if y'all remember me from my old story times, I was definitely very much like only used to like to mess with DL men. And I feel like that's where a lot of my problems stem from. We are pulling up to the Wally world, y'all. And I'm not bringing my camera inside. I have never been that bitch to just tighten up like that and really bring a whole camera inside of Walmart. I don't know what it is about me. Actually, I know exactly what it is. It's my social anxiety. I just cannot bring a whole, it's just like people looking at me bringing the camera in is what kills me. Like y'all ain't never seen a young b on a grind before. Like first off, park in the back, get some steps in. Everyone always trying to park in the front, that's why we big. <sighs> there come my man texting me. <laughs> that's not my man, I just said that. Bro, it was just so ghetto in there. Like, I just hate my city. Like, I done went past someone's boba cup. It's hella unsanitary. Like, it's COVID. So now we're going back to a different store in the same city that I just left. Let me go ahead and tell y'all about the story time about how I basically almost lost my life. I wouldn't say lost my life. But I basically got stranded in a party in the Hollywood Hills. Because the friends that I trusted and the friends that I thought that had my back clearly did not. If you guys can't tell from all my story times, I, I'm a very bad judgment of people's character. It's not because, like, I'm just stupid bit to the red flags like obviously I see red flags but when you care about somebody and mind you I've been friends with these people for a year before the situation happened so I dead cared about them you would not want to believe that they're as bad as a person as they really are and they will put you in that situation but until it happens then you just be like oh shit <laughs> maybe I should have just you know cut her off I don't hold grudges obviously because I actually still talk to them I just don't like to hang around them anymore because like it's still in the back of my head that like I do not feel safe with you no more like, after they did this I was just like nah so basically this is my first year of ever being a creator you know i was feeling this my first time in la since seventh grade and my first time in la as an influencer so i'm not gonna lie i was very excited and that also blinded my judgment with the people that i was around at the time too there was this one girl who was just like i wouldn't say she was jealous but she was very much like a hater like she was definitely being a hater the whole trip and then i had went back to la hang out with some different friends they were going out to eat right so basically what happened was i want to give y'all a, su a summary i'm gonna tell y'all the full full story in my next story time so then i went back with these other friends right and i was hanging out with them the whole time and basically this was this specific day they were going out to eat and they were like we're about to go to what's the place called saddle ranch and i was like i'm honestly like not really with the hype like i've never really cared about like touristy spots or like influencer spots like i really it's somewhere we eat like i'll go red robin if we could but i didn't go with them because my friend was like oh i have a party do you want to come da, da, da. and at the time he was with these other influencers at their house right and i was like oh it might be cool to meet them too like they might be like cool people so i was like instead of going out to eat side ranch with y'all i'm gonna go hang out with this person and they were like oh, okay like just be careful and i was like bet so i'm hanging out with them and everything's going good like i go way i come there way too overdressed like i literally had a button up some slacks i had like these cute little like loafers i don't know what i thought i was going like it was doing too much like and they literally were like bro like where are you going you don't gotta get all dressed up like you can wear some jeans da, da, da. and i and that felt like embarrassed cause i was like now nah, i'm overdressed right when everyone decided i guess they were about to leave i was like okay i'm gonna go and change my clothes like this is just way too much and i ubered back to the friend's house i was staying at changed my clothes i was like are you still at the house like i kind of want to drive with you because i don't really know this area too much i don't want to be like driving by myself like i don't really want to be ubering by myself especially if i'm gonna be drunk like i would just rather come with you and your friends and instead of wasting some money on Ubers, I would just fit in the car with y'all. Um, my camera's about to die, so now I have to pull over somewhere and change the battery. Yeah, but I always keep that charger pack on me, though, so you would never gag me. That extra on me. I keep that thing on me. Stop fucking with me. Instead of paying for Ubers, why would I not just drive with you and your friends, right? That was my logic. Okay, I guess I won't be turning this way. But clearly, my friend wasn't with that because they ended up leaving anyway. They're like, no, just meet me at the party. Just meet me at the party. So, fuck it. That's what I get. Next time, don't come in there and loaf first and maybe you would be able to hang out with everybody i took my ale gracefully i meet them at this party uh, my friend comes outside and gets me it's literally just like this tiny ass like apartment party hella squinched up just hella crazy it wasn't <laughs> you could have let me wait they're like hey so let's go to this party i can say this because this isn't oh i don't know if i should actually say the name of the house because it wasn't the leaders of the house that were, you know, crazy and that were being mean to me. It was like their, I wouldn't even say their bodyguards, but like they're like, just like dick munchers. Whatever the case may be, but they were mean to me. Just so y'all, I know y'all gonna come back and actually care about the story. I'm not even gonna give even that many details. I'm just gonna tell you. So we went to this popular content house, right? So why do I get so drunk, y'all? I'm talking to the other group of friends that met us there. And I'm like, I'm about to sit down. And they're like, yeah, okay. Like, they're like, yeah, sit down, friend. And I sit down and break 
the chair. Girl. I was big, but I wasn't that big. I ain't never broke a chair a day in my life. But I really think it's because I put my whole dead weight, like, just fell on the chair. And I didn't even realize that I fell until they pulled me up and I could feel my body going like this. And they literally kicked me out. And they weren't trying to let me get my phone. My phone was dying. And they weren't trying to let me get my phone. I was like, no, give me my phone. Like, I don't care about nothing you're talking about. Grab my phone. I know every, bro, there were so many, like, influencers there. It was just really embarrassing. Like, I just, like, when I look back at it, I was embarrassed. At the time, like, I wasn't embarrassed because I was, like, too drunk to give a f I'm looking for my friend that I came there with, came there with, because, you know, I had an Uber from the UCLA party to this house party by myself. I'm like, where are you at? He's gone. Like, I'm like, I don't even see him and his friends there. So I'm like, okay. In my drunk brain, I'm like, I literally was just talking. I'm literally only getting kicked out because I fell on that chair. I was just talking to my friends telling them I was going to sit down on the chair. So they should be somewhere around here. I'm looking for their car. They're gone too. So then I call my friend. I'm like, hey girl, um, can you come pick me up? Like, I'm so drunk. My phone's not letting me order the Uber because, oh my god, yes. But I ordered an Uber because I was like, I'm already knowing that these fake bitches left me here. The Uber was like, like pending for like 30 minutes so the transaction went through but nobody would pick it up for like 35 minutes i was literally like so scared because my phone is dying they're not letting me go back inside the house to get my phone they're telling me how like they're gonna beat my ass and they're gonna f me up and how i came to this party and i ruined it da -da -da -da. i'm like bro what like do y'all not see what's going on in this party like i'm gonna tell you guys everything that was happening like when i tell the full story time but on God, I was the least of their problems the whole time. And I feel like they only kicked me out. Like, they were so mad because two of the people that I came there with f***ed up like OD. Like, OD. And we're just doing too much. And I guess me falling over drunk was just their last straw. So I was just like, I can understand that, like, being irritated. But to be kicking me out saying you're going to whip my ass knowing I'm drunk is crazy. Crazy. I can't even defend myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, your body, and mind you, they're, like, bigger than me. So, I'm in, I, in terms of, like, weight and body. So, I know they would have handed my ass to me. Mind you, it was in the hill. So, their house is, like, on a hill. And I'm stumbling down. And I'm trying to, like, get my balance. And they're pushing me. Like, they're literally pushing me. This is why I have decided to neither move to L.A. until maybe next year after my lease at my apartment at Houston just because I need to know that that's what I want to be around 24-7 because people out there are just so vile and nasty and then literally the only thing going through my head was I bet you if I was Charlie D'Amelio this wouldn't be happening to me. Oh this Jeep thought they were going to be speeding in this lane. No you didn't. Being around like that type of energy all the time where people only care about your safety if you're someone who can benefit them is not a good like place to want to be around. It's nothing but bougie rude white people and black people who want to be white people. I don't want to be around that. I'm trying to be around the real Okay, and, and you know, the influencers out there, like, I mean, y'all know, I didn't already expose one of them. <laughs> the influencers out there just are not polite. Like, you would think, like, because we're black, you know, we know the struggle, we know how hard it is, you made it, maybe, you know, you could give me some insight, but no, they're all stingy. Like, they all just kind of want to keep their wealth and keep their, like, fame or whatever their connections, like, with each other. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I'm not even saying wealth because I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sharing my money with nobody. I don't know either. So I'm not gonna say that. You know, the knowledge, you can't put me on game. Like, it's hater shit. There's a lot of haters out there and they're only worried about getting themselves to the top and they will step on anybody who they have to do that. And I'm sorry, I'm not putting myself in that situation. 365 days of the year no it's not happening then this white girl thank the lord like i don't know who she is i don't know if she was an influencer or not or what she did but she basically was at the party also and she walked up and was like yo like he's trying his hardest like why are you guys being so rude to him and i was like thank you like i'm literally just trying to go home i don't know what it is i'm not even gonna blame it on the house because the people who were the face of the house were very polite to me and mind you i forgot to tell y'all so the girl that I had called i was like the girl that I basically was like i'm about to sit down and she left me next morning i called them because i didn't get no i i'm not gonna lie I was waking, I was hoping to wake up to like, oh, oh, I hope you're okay text. Like, hey, I left you yesterday. Like, are you fine? They didn't even text me to make sure I was good. Like, that low-key kind of hurt my feelings because I just don't understand why people do not appreciate me as a friend. Like, there is a short handful of people that I can say actually appreciate me. And that's why, like, those people, and they know who, I'm going to say that them because y'all know who they are and I know who they are. Because there's not too many real bitches like y'all in the world. We need more of y'all, for real. We need more of us. But anyways, I call these people and I'm like, um, are y'all good? Like, what happened? Like, they were like, oh, yeah, like, I saw you fall like cause so the one friend he left for a different reason I'm not gonna say that I was put that in the story time but he was OD and got kicked out so then I'm like okay so girl why didn't you come pick me up you talking about some you was gonna call me cause she told me when I called her she was like oh I'm on the freeway right now I can't hear you cause she told me that when she got off the freeway she was gonna call me back 
never call me back. Basically, just telling me like, oh, I forgot. Like, you know, da -da -da, I was so messed up. Like, girl, no, you wasn't. You wasn't that messed up because you live mad far away. So for you to drive to your house from that party, you had to be a little sober. Like, be for real. Like, I don't, I don't care. And mind you, when I was talking to her, she wasn't drunk. You were literally sober, and that's and that's how I know like you were definitely sober because you were the DD. Like, they're not the type of people who would drive under the influence. So I know how you guys get. I know you don't drive drunk and put other people in danger. So that's BS in itself. And I know you had no intention to call me back. Like, you just did not want to have to come pick me up. Why would you get off the freeway to call me back if I told you I needed to ride? Like, you would have just turned around. I feel like I'm real used, and it's starting to get real, like, draining to be having to tell y'all stories about how people who I thought were my friends really weren't. Like, that's not a good feeling, and that's not, like, fun for people. Like, I don't know. That's why I really fuck with y'all so heavy, because I know that, like, every time I've needed y'all to be having my back... Y'all have had my back. And honestly, like, internet that drama be like high school drama? It's be the people. Like, it's the personalities that run it that make it so bad. Because if you really look at, like, even the drama that just I just got out of recently, okay, this, like, glare, this glare on the screen is not about to keep doing it for me. I want to start. Okay, I really cannot. That's on my red. Okay, I just feel like having that new start kind of benefit for me. Like, I think it'll help me with my social anxiety. I think it'll help me with my confidence. And I think it'll also put me in the position where I'll be around more creators like me. Honestly, my life has been just way better. <laughs> my life has been a lot better. Like, can I give me, give me something? Like, get me up! Like, what's up? Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Follow all my social medias because y'all know it's down below. Know it's down below. Click that link. Hey! Follow my Instagram because we're literally only like 400 people away from hitting 40K and we have 54 people on here so someone's being fake and also i'm thinking about doing a prank call video so y'all know how that gets real ignorant real ghetto if you want your family to be called you gotta be following me on instagram it's just like a give and take type of thing you feel me so love you guys so much see you guys next time um bye